Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're asking if there can ever be a justification for rape and what should be the punishment for the rapist. Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 All right, so um, we'll try to open the phone lines, but we're having a bit of difficulty today. If we can hear you, fine. Um, Uti. We talked about that. I think we've all established that there's no justification for raping. So all those people that keep giving silly excuses like, oh, it was what she was wearing and all of that. Exactly. They are all thrown in the, in the totally. bin. Totally. No all right, so what should be the punishment? Because now this is a very dicey situation. We are all women. Mm. And we cannot ignore the fact that women actually do commit this crime as well. Totally. You know, raping young boys, raping older, older men, you know, gang raping a man. So mm. women also... Um, um, carry out culprits yes they are well. culprits in the rape transaction mm -hmm. so I um, I am thinking I'm still processing what the punishment should be like for a woman you see now they would not say it is woman matter now I'm laughing <laughs> but before it's a man and my face is strong but I, 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 I want to understand what you think about punishment for both a man you know and if it's in the case of a woman what should that punishment look like you know for cases of rape mm -hmm. I want to make something clear, and a lot of people are not gonna like me for what I'm about to say. When we talk about the issue of rape, I am not in any way failing to acknowledge the fact that men get raped or women get raped. But it's like taking an ocean, right? And picking out a drop and worrying about the drop. I'm sorry, men, forget it. Look, however you want to swing this conversation, I can't. Yes, men get raped, but in the grand scheme of things, in the problem of rape, I'm sorry, men, stand aside. I can't. Let's be clear. When we talk about rape, when we talk about the travesty of rape, we will and continue, whether you like it or not, to focus on the women. Now, should there be consequences across board? Absolutely. Men that rape women, absolutely. Women that rape men, absolutely. Women that sexually harass women, absolutely. But let me be categorically clear. Women lose their lives every day. Girls, children die every day from being raped. How many times do men get raped and die? For a man to actually be able to be raped, he has to have an erection. They, look, I don't even want to have this conversation because it's going to upset me. So let's be clear that when Uti is talking about rape, I'm talking about it from the perspective of a woman. Be, I am biased. Take it however you want to take it, put it in your pocket and walk out. So let me just say that when you are going to talk about prostitution, when you are going to talk about the penalties, let's talk about the penalties for men because there can never be enough. When somebody now tries to tell me that, Uti, when you say you should kill them or you should castrate them, what about the ones that are falsely accused? Excuse me, the statistics I can find, unfortunately, I couldn't find the ones for Nigeria. 200,000 plus cases, almost 300,000 cases. Out of those, how many prosecutions? Less than just over 2,000. How many convictions? About 1,500 from 255,000. Maybe, maybe, if a couple of people, and this is not me saying go and kill people, go and castrate people, but in those percentages there, eh, even probability and statistics allows for error. If one or two get castrated by mistake, they will make sure their younger brother doesn't do it. So you know what? According to me, it's just fine. So let me make it clear because all people that keep saying, oh, men get raped. No, 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 no. It's story. Women are dying out there every day, whether they are wearing hijabs, whether they are wearing shorts, whether they're walking around naked. It's my body. I don't ask you to be in detail. Dress how you want to dress. That's the world we live in today. Don't touch me if I say no. Please, let's be clear. Because all these issues, men will be saying, eh, but this, but that. Even in common, ordinary law that has nothing to do with rape, whether it's stealing, whether it's murder, there is a margin for error. There are a lot of people that are sitting in jail that are there that are innocent. It's not right. But please, when it comes to rape, let's not all sit on our high horses and say, you know what, eh, women accuse men. Somebody did this. Somebody did not do that. I don't buy it. Okay, if, you, so Jennifer, if you men are so bothered by it, fix the problem. Jennifer, Uti, they you. will come for you today. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer, let me hear she your thoughts. She's biased. Uh, so she has already you know said that. it. We are so women. <laughs> no, but the truth is that the yeah. numbers are there. The statistic is really high. So, yeah, men get... But you know the thing, I was going to say this. Is it mm. possible that over the years, right, 
men that get raped, mm -hmm. right? They accepted it. You understand? They, no, they accepted it like a thing of because yes. if they had complained about it that this is painful, this is this, this is that, maybe the way we are fighting for women will be fighting for men because <laughs> my cameraman is looking my, at me. My, Let me come to Jennifer. Me, but men really children, enjoyed it. It's for the children, ah. the children, the children that have been violated are the ones. See, that actually all the boys that I know, adults, men, they'll tell you it was my house gay that first did it, and, and it was good. They will tell you, so they didn't. They don't consider it as a crime. Yes. So you you cannot help them because mm. they don't even consider it as a crime because they were not informed. They were hey, so now that they, we are knowing now, we are coming. Know. We are coming gradually to them. We, we don't have a, a formula yet for women. Mm. But let me come to Jennifer. See, Uti has said Uti has said it all, and um, I really find it very problematic when women when it's um, it's. When women are talking about their issues, the, the challenges that we face in the society, that's when men decide to compare and contrast. We've been fighting for ourselves for a very long time. So I think that if men want a solution, they should stand up and fight for themselves. They are not fighting for us. We have been fighting for ourselves. We've been fighting for women's rights. We've been fighting for, for, for being safe in the society against domestic violence, against sexual harassment, against rape, against killing us. So if men want something to be done about theirs, fight for yourself. Stop waiting for women to actually fight for you. There should be a, there should actually, I, 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 I can't count how many cases I've actually heard about rape where the man was actually sent to jail. How many have we seen? The law is not on our side and it is so unfair. And I think we actually need to actually we need to fix the justice system. If, if, if a man commit a crime like that, punish him immediately. I don't care what they want to do. Just do something. Make an example of somebody. I heard of the case where a man raped a child. He went to jail for only two years. And then he came out. Why? Why are you out in the society? We don't need you. Sleep there. Spend the rest of your life in jail and stay there. Do not come out. Because you come out, you're a menace. I don't think when they actually go to jail, they actually learn their lesson. I don't think they do. Because if you actually learn your lesson, all these things that were seen in the society will not be happening every day. It is too bad and it's terrible. They, they have not learned that lesson. But let me take some comments. Um, Benson says, explanation from Jennifer was quite deep and help, it, helps, um, it helped clarify so much. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, another uh, comment from Rafael Akori from Zaria. He says, topic of discourse always bring out the area of strength in life. When rape was mentioned some days ago, um, Saleh was very crossed and her other side became visible. <laughs> and she is an advocate against rape. Rape must be condemned by all civilized people because it has destroyed many potential mothers in the world. Exactly. We need deep proper orientation for men mm -hmm. and boy, boy child on self-control in the face of temptation and impulses. Yes, Raphael, this is very dear to me. I'm trying to hold myself today because everybody mm -hmm. kept saying that you were too, you were too, I mean, I, 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 I exposed my real self on yes. Tuesday, so I'm <laughs> trying to stay calm today so that mm. at least we can have a conversation and help people out there see what we are what about. we're talking about yeah but easy quickly take your comments because okay. we've even um, run out of time. my comment um this is from mrs banjo she says thanks ladies for putting your voices on this sensitive issue she's from Festac. Mm. she said this from Festac. then we also have wurola wurola said um individuals must have strength to get away from early signs of bad behavior. Mm. I totally agree with her because it's essential that we understand that when we see the telltale signs, when you already, we have already, I have already given you an example of the kind of people that are likable to be a rapist. Mm -hmm. So when we see the telltale signs in these individuals or, or people, what we should do is, you know, walk away and we should always do one thing. The earlier we tell our children that these are the kind of people, I'm looking at it from the perspective of children, the earlier we tell our children that these are the kind of people that could take advantage of you and most times it's even, it could be the ne next door neighbor, it could be your uncle, it could be a close relative and the moment we 
advise our children on the little signs that if uncle touches you here, somebody touches you there, know that it is totally uncomfortable. It's a no-no. And the earlier we tell our children this, the better for everybody. Mm. And the earlier the child will know the difference between right and wrong touch. Mm -hmm. And know that, okay, I'm safe with this person or I'm not safe with this person and be more vocal about I what she is I think it's even more about breaking his... the silence. More of mm. talking, more of breaking the silence. I yes. mean, I'm happy about the story I took in the news yesterday of the Covenant University lecturer. Absolutely. Yes, that was arrested and they've mm -hmm. taken him, transferred him to state CID for further in investigation. Mm -hmm. He raped a 17-year-old girl. In fact, yes. uh, what came to my mind, because I was having that conversation with my, my husband, and he was saying, you know, the relationship the girl must have with her parents must be a good one for exactly. her to have been able to tell to the parents because it was the parents you know mm -hmm. alongside the girl that went to lodge that complaint so imagine Fantastic. if she didn't have that explanation kind of backing exactly if she didn't have that backing what? so that's you know mm -hmm. that one tells me also that parents you know mm -hmm. you must build that bond with your your your, your children so mm -hmm. that they are able to talk to you when they are being touched inappropriately and should be able to defend themselves yeah. even when they are not there i'm so apt to, i'm so i'm so concerned about this particular part because i as a child you have a little girl around, of course, and you have individuals who would want to, you know, take advantage of that little girl. So what you should do, what my mom did was very fantastic from day one. And she didn't say it in, nice, in a nice way. She didn't coat it. She gave it to me, a mano a mano, face to face, the way it was. There was no filter. So if I see an uncle or I see an auntie or I see a friend or I see a relative trying to, you know, talk to me in a particular way, and I feel I'm not comfortable with that person, I, I quietly walk away. And that actually guided me. That Even is, you have met the same rapist now. What, is the, what about the ones that will put a knife to your neck? That is what I'm saying. Neck? You look for the telltale ah. signs. Yeah, all right. Those so let signs me... will help the child. That's we, what helped me. We thought we had time, but we've actually run out of time. But let me just hear Uti's final comment and Jennifer's final comment on... Um, we haven't. We still did not find the solution to the, the punishment for uh, the rapist. We talked. <laughs> I said castration. Yes, everybody's mentioning castration. And sl a very slow one, very slow. So they have. I said I was twisted in this aspect. I, I didn't want to talk about it in this context. But the key thing is that it should be very slow. And the earlier you do it, you know, you make make an example of an individual who, who has put taken, that picture up? who has taken advantage of a child or has taken Ew. advantage of a woman it's <sighs> essential here mm. nobody deserves to be raped whether be it a child a man or a a, a woman mm. it's as simple as all that. right uti your final thoughts please um so if you left it to me if i had to choose punishment I'm sorry, I wouldn't even choose castration. I just hang you from your balls till you die. How about we do that? Just kill him. Simple. I'm sorry. You know, when you when you when you when you actually castrate someone, he's still got life. He still might be able to find some joy in life. I don't even think that he's, he should get that. How about we just kill you? In a, in you know, I'm I'm with Issy. I don't think they should. They should poison you or they should, you know, just hang you from it till you die. So that whilst you're dying, you can think about the pain that you put her through, but you still get to die. So, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. Very graphic, but that's me. Mm. Jennifer, do you agree? That was very graphic. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. You know. I don't know who put up that picture on, on, on the street. It was oh, awful. Yeah. I, I actually, I actually, <laughs> it was actually not the laughing matter, but I actually agree with the castration. Jennifer. I feel like, yeah. Well, go ahead. I said, I don't know who put up the picture as well. It was very graphic. <laughs> so <laughs> can you hear me? So what what's your final take? Um, so I, I agree with the castration punishment because I feel like there is there is nothing else that would actually suit that crime aside that. I mean, it's just a lifelong lesson. If you leave to tell your story, then you tell them how you don't have your thingy anymore. And that's a good thing. I mean, at least they still gave you life. But if you don't have a life later, sorry about that. But you 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 took something away from a human being. You took something away from somebody that they would never get back. The trauma is for life. It never actually goes away. 
And I, 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 I don't know. I, I, just stop ripping, please. Stop it. Let, let, let's just kill it and let it end. That's all I have to say. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh. I don't agree with Uti. If you kill the person, that is fast. It is, in fact, it is merciful. When you castrate the person and you do it slowly, and that person lives with it, that person will, those that are coming behind, will take a look at it and they will never try to do it again. Mm. It's essential. That's Some, slow, that's merciful. No. no one says the solution is train the men, have the um, have family system, so train the men. Mm. That's what the person is proposing as a solution. That's a long-term solution. We're ah. looking for immediate solution. So this topic of rape is actually quite draining. It is. Um, the damage you do mm. to the psychology of any victim of rape, sometimes it leaves with them for their lifetime. The rest of their lives. You don't yes. want that. You exactly. know. So please, um, I also want the government to be seen to be responsible, taking it seriously. Because I think also, because over the years, there hasn't been serious show of, you know, um, punishment for crimes like this. And that's why it has escalated and has gone so bad. So um, we hope to fight this, this menace. We hope to fight it. Exactly. All right. So thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Well, can I just thank say you, something Uti. quickly? Thank you, Jennifer. Um, so, ways was birthed from the need to inspire, inform, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. If you're a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Ways and follow us on all our social media handles, as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So, tell your friends to keep all eyes on Ways. In case you missed today's quote, here it is again. That tells you there's no justification. It says, if you blame the rape victim because her clothes were provocative, you must also blame the bank that was robbed because its content was provocative. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.